Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to learn how to pass the data from the form that is from our HTML form to JS part. How to take the data, how to take the input data and then on click of the button how to pass that value from the HTML to JavaScript. But before I start coding or before I start this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. So let's get started. So now the basic goal of this video is that whatever input that I'm going to provide inside this email, phone, name, email, phone uh, field, if once I click on save, I want that all the values of this name, email and phone should be available to me inside the JavaScript as well. To do that, first I need to connect the, the button with the JavaScript. So now as soon as I click on this button, I want that the JavaScript code should get executed. To do that, we are going to use an on-click attribute of lightning button. So instead on-click, I am going to write a function. And then I am going to embed this function over here. And inside this function, I am just going to write an alert. That button is clicked. To get a pop-up, we usually use alert. And I'm going to deploy it. So now what is going to happen is that on click of this button, right? On click on this button, on handle click, uh, on click of this button, a handle click function would work. And as soon as the handle click function would work, this function will get executed of JavaScript and an alert should be shown. So let's move on to our Salesforce awk. Now, as soon as I click on the save button, an alert should pop up. So you can see, alert is getting popped up, button is clicked. Previously, alert was not coming, now alert has started coming. So this means my HTML and my JavaScript is connected. Okay, so I am able to call the JavaScript functions using HTML. Now, the next thing that I have to do is, <clears throat> I have to take the, all the input values from all these lightning inputs together and I have to show it one by one on the screen. <clears throat> so the next goal is that I have to take the values of these input fields one by one and then I have to show it on the screen. Now to take the values of this input, I am going to use this dot template dot query selector all. And then let's remove this. <clears throat> and here I'm going to provide lightning input. So what this what this this statement is going to do is it's going to pull all the attributes regarding lightning inputs. So right now I have three lightning inputs. So it's going to fetch all of these lightning inputs one by one. Okay, and it's going to fetch all the attributes of all the lightning inputs. So I have three lightning inputs. So of all three lightning inputs, I will be able to access those attributes like type variant name i will be able to access all these attributes one by one using this lightning input so i have get uh, in using this statement i am i'm able to get all the lightning inputs and along with that i am also able to get all the attributes of this lightning input uh, now once i have received it i'm going to store it within a variable let's say variable loop right now as the values inside this lightning input it's not only one value right there are multiple values of it it's not just the one value if there are going to be multiple values of it right if there are multiple values, I have to loop over this dot for each. I'm going to remove this for each and then I'm going to write a function along with element <coughs> and I'm going to remove this. Now, what's this going to do is what's this going to do is it's going to pull like this loop has right now at the line number six this loop has all the lightning inputs along with all the attributes now i have to pull each lightning input one by one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just pull one lightning input using the for each loop then i'm going to go to the next lightning input then i'm going to go to the next lightning input to get the values one by one and now and this elements element i just alert the element the element that i'm getting from here this element describes all the attributes of lightning inputs all the attributes means text type sorry type 
variant, name, all these attributes are available inside this element, but for each lightning input. Now, if I go and refresh it, so the pop up should come three times because there are three lightning inputs and the for loop would run for three times and then hence the alert would also come for three times. So I'm just going to click on save. So this is for, I think so first uh, lightning input. This is for the second lightning input. And this is for third lightning input. And if I click OK, that's it. So I'm able to get all the lightning inputs and all the attributes of lightning input. Now out of this lightning, uh, each lightning input, I'm just going to access name attribute. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm to use I'm going to use element dot name to access each of this lightning input using the name attribute. So what I'm going to do is element dot name, right? So first lightning input uh, uh, element name is name, lightning input uh, name is name. Next is email, and third one is the phone. And if I deploy, I'll be able to get name, email, and phone. So as you can see, first I got the attribute. First one was name. Next time, next one I'm able to get the email, and the third one I'm able to get the phone. Now this is just accessing the attributes using the element variable, right? We are just trying to access the attributes out using this element variable. Now what if I want to access the value itself? To access the value itself, I can just use value itself. Okay. As soon as I'll start using values, I'll be able to access the values that are providing inside the Lightning input, which is one of the attributes. So if I give test, let's say test at the red gmail.com and let's say this, this is, and if I click on save, I will be able to, okay, there is, this is not refreshed. Test, test at gmail.com. So if I click on save, see, I'm able to access the value as well. Test, next would be, If I click on OK, that next would be email test at the gmail.com that we have passed. And next would be the phone number. If I click on OK, I'm also able to access the phone number of it. Now, what you can do is you can use the element.name to assign the values to each variable. So, what you can do is you can create variables like a name, right? Uh, where name and uh, or let's say just name, right? And email and uh, let's say uh, phone number. And then you what you can do is if element dot name equals to equals to name, then in that case, this means I'm talking about the uh, I'm talking about the lightning input whose attribute name is equals to name. Right. So I'm going to assign this dot name equals to element dot value. Also else if element dot name equals to let's say email then I'm going to store it inside the email variable so I'm going to store it inside this dot email equals to element dot value else if If it's phone, then I'm going to show it inside the phone. If element dot name equals to phone, so I'm accessing those attributes. I'm checking whether that lightning input I'm talking about whether it's a name or other email or other phone using the element dot name attribute, and then I'm assigning the values to the variable. Now, once all these things is done, I'm just going to print uh, alert saying alert name is let's say plus this dot name plus email is this dot email plus 
फोन इज दिस डॉट फोन Now once everything is done, I will be able to access using like I'll be able to access see the name, email, and phone number using that alert, which is outside the for loop. Right, so I'm going to give one more refresh. <coughs> so I'm going to name it as SF in five minutes. Next, I'm going to write Salesforce in five minutes at the red gmail dot com, and then I'm going to give any kind of phone number over here. As soon as I click on save, at the end, once every value has been assigned, I am able to access the values, right? So name is SF in five minutes, which is outside the for loop, right? I am able to access the values outside the for loop. SF in five minutes, Salesforce in five minutes, and phone is this, this, this. And once you click on OK, uh, it's gone. Okay, so this is how you can use this dot template dot query selector to access all the values of the Lightning input. One set for all, and you can store it within a variable, or you can use some another method to store it. and then you can use it for as per as your need so if you like this video please consider subscribing to this channel